The issues, as for, from what we understand at this stage, is, is about the councillor issue. There's also a mention of an issue of an Unduna, Unduna that people are complaining about, and then also a housing problem. What, what do you see the problem as uh, and why the protests happened today? No, thanks very much. Um, first of all, let us uh, condemn what has happened, uh, particularly during the time when we are facing economic problems in our country. We want to say to, as a ANC to a person who was owning the firm where trucks were burnt and the firm burnt, we say really we are very sympathetic to him because we know that there were families who were working there, feeding their families, um, but today we know that they are going to be struggling to do that because of the action. We want to say that in terms of the information that we have is that uh, there is a complaint about the process of nomination of councillors. Of course, partly a service delivery issues, which have been explained in previous meetings to communities. So we want to say that as an ANC, we are concerned. And we are concerned in this region because we believe that now these things, uh, there is um, a third hand in the handling of our processes, particularly nominations and the burning of tires. Because as a leadership of the region, no one has came to us and, and said there is a problem. Yet we have a region, we have a province, we have national. So if people have problems, they should have addressed it to structures. Burning tires, burning cars, um, threatening people who are going to work, it's not going to solve problems. And those people who are threatened, they are not even part of influencing decisions that need to be taken either by the ANC or the local authority. So we find it very difficult to understand exactly why this, and we believe very strongly that this is a violence targeting the ANC, uh, particularly because the ANC is the most democratic organization. We are the ones who nominate candidates and take them to 